name is Mrs Blako and I'm Head of Maths at Beckett Keys. So I'm here today to talk to you about our offerings for A-level maths. So if you're considering taking this subject, you probably want to know what does A-level maths look like. Well, the good news is if you enjoy all the algebra at GCSE, then you're really going to enjoy the A-level maths. The course is two thirds pure maths, which is built on a basis of the algebra that you've already seen. So all of the quadratic equations, solving equations, rearranging formulae, all of those skills that you learn at GCSE, we adapt into A-level and we start to bring in calculus. So we look at differentiation and integration and how we can use those skills to model practical problems and how we can use them to um, apply different functions to graphs. Another big part of the pure maths is the trigonometry. So, so far you've seen how to use trigonometry on right angled triangles. You will have eventually looked at how to use trig on non right angled triangles. But at A level, we take this further and look at how we can use trig functions to model everyday situations. So the pure aspect is two thirds of the course. And then we have the applied. So the applied is half and half statistics and mechanics. So those of you who are taking geography, biology, business, economics, those sorts of subjects will know a lot about statistics anyway. So looking at how we can look at the spread of the data or we can display data on graphs. We also use statistics and statistical models to look at probability distributions and basically to make predictions about data. And the statistics makes up um, half of the applied content. The other half is the mechanics. So traditionally, people think that mechanics is like physics. We look at how particles move. We look at the effects of gravity on objects. Um, so um, mechanics is a lot about the modelling of particles. When you sit your assessments at the end of year 13, we have two pure papers, they're both two hours long and they're both 100 marks, and one joint statistics and mechanics paper, which is also two hours and worth 100 marks. So you might be wondering how you can prepare for an A-level in mathematics. Well, the best way to do that is to really make sure that your GCSE algebra skills are really secure. So you need to be fluent in your quadratics, factorising and expanding, solving equations, rearranging equations, simultaneous equations. Everything to do with algebra has to be a really solid foundation. And by that, I mean you want to be able to just look at a question and factorise it without too much thought. The other way that you're going to prepare at A level, we use a different calculator. Some of you will have already seen it, may already have it, but our calculator that we use at A level does some of these functions for you and is more advanced than the GCSE calculator. So it's a really key tool in our A level. Mathematics lessons at A level will involve a lot of teacher talk from the front, so lots of modelling, lots of examples of kinds of questions. And then the majority of the focus on what you are doing as a good mathematics student, you'll be going home, um, working in the study area and working through exercises that we set you. We use a textbook, we use the Pearson textbook that goes with the course, and we always say that the most successful students will aim to complete all of the exercises from the book by the end of their two years studying the course. You should expect to be setting as much work outside of class as you do in class. So some homeworks will be to complete exercises from the book, as I've said, but you will also have homework tasks that are set for you every week by your teachers, and these will be formally assessed we will collect them in and assess them. And these tasks are always synoptic, so they cover the whole of the course content as we go through, um, so that you are constantly revising your key skills. We try and assess in class as much as possible. So 
Every few weeks you will have an assessment. Whenever we finish a chapter in the book, we will sit an assessment on that chapter so that you can test your skills. And the assessments will be challenging in line with what the A-level looks like so that you can really see, do you just have the basic skills? Can you do what we've learned in class? Can you apply it? And can you model it? So this, the assessments will always become more and more difficult throughout. The kind of students that we always have studying our maths course will be people who love studying maths. There will be a lot of work involved in this kind of course, so if you don't enjoy mathematics, it will be hard work. But if you are somebody who already knows that you enjoy studying the subject, this is the perfect course. Our students always work hard and therefore they get the results that help them do what they want to do next. Students who have studied maths in the past have gone on. We have some studying pure maths degrees, lots studying finance, computer science, engineering, very sort of strong STEM subjects come from your mathematics. And very often our students decide to take a maths A level because it supports their other subjects. So whether that be that they are taking sciences because they want to study medicine, whether it be that they are studying geography or sociology or business and they want the maths to help support those subjects, maths is a very good choice to combine all of your A-level subjects.